It's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the sound system demo of the 2022 GMC Sierra and its seven speaker Bose audio system. This is gonna be an in-depth review. We're gonna take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio adjustments, controls, inputs, speaker locations, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Then we're gonna head out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. If you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, you just wanna hear the music, click ahead in the video. We've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you're tired of hearing the same songs week in and week out, sign up to become a Daily Motor member. We actually recorded a members only sound system test on this truck and it had tracks that I like to listen to, tracks I use in my evaluation, and member requested songs. If you want to see that and support the channel, check the link in the description. Before we get started, let's hop out take a look at this thing. It is absolutely horrendous outside today. It's snowing, but we are still filming. I've actually really, really enjoyed driving this GMC Sierra around. It's tough, it's capable. This one's packing the inline six, three liter turbo diesel, Thermax. Means we've been getting some good fuel economy as well. And it's the AT4 package, meaning we've had a lot of fun off roads. So we're shooting a ton of stuff on this video. We're gonna be towing this trailer with a different car on there, kind of a surprise car. So if you wanna see that, check the links in the description and all our videos will be on there as well. Now this will be the same system as you'd get in a Chevy Silverado. So even though this is a Sierra, I think that this review should really apply to both trucks. So we'll put those both in there. We always do this test with lossless, uncompressed WAV audio files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults. Let's take a look at those now. This does not have the super high quality upgraded screen for 2022 that the more fancy kind of Denali interiors get, but this one is still very functional and very quick to respond. Look at this, you go home, music, maps, doesn't matter, everything is really quick to load and respond. I like that. Going up here to sound. You've got your standard treble, mid-range, and bass. Let's go through those now. I found the flat EQ settings to sound quite good in this truck. For some songs, I did drop the mid-range down two and treble down one, but right in the middle is pretty much the same. Then other than that, you have your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. No other adjustments for this system. For audio controls, you've got a nice volume knob here, easy to grab, nice clicks. Also got volume adjustments on the back right side of the steering wheel, I like those. For track selection, you can either use these buttons, you can use this knob to kind of go through your tracks, or left side back of the steering wheel for those selections. Audio inputs in the GMC Sierra. You have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, Bluetooth, USB-A and USB-C with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support, both wired and wireless. And that is it. All about the Sierra. No, there's just kidding. There's a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input in there as well. And I do see an SD card slot, but I'm sure that is for maps. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, you don't have, actually you're not really missing anything. I mean, you've even got some streaming right here. I see Wall Street Journal and USA Today. I wouldn't be too surprised if using their marketplace or something. Oh yeah, right here, Spotify. You can even do Spotify streaming built right in. So there aren't any inputs you're missing here other than I guess a disc player, but not really people, not really many people use disc players anymore. So I love how you got all the inputs you'd want here in this truck. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a seven speaker system. Starting in the bottom left, you've got a door woofer there. It's one tweeter, probably kind of a tweeter mid-range deal up there too. Three, four, five, six in the rear, and then seven subwoofers actually built right in here into the console. So that's kind of cool. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto demos. Let's start off with CarPlay because I've got it wirelessly hooked up, or at least I should be. I don't know why my phone isn't hooked up. So it was actually because I was hooked up to my GoPro, it's unable to get to CarPlay, but there we go. You can see it is wireless. The phone is not connected, and you see it coming up. Nicely right there, got my YouTube music open, it looks like, or maybe that's Amazon music. There's your home screen, it's right there, see I got Waze and all that other stuff, and then come over here, Google Maps, here's your Google Maps coming up there as well. And let's go over to settings screen, so decently responsive, refresh rate doesn't look fantastic, but other than that, the screen looks good. Here is one thing that's a bit of a downside, is you can't actually see the temperature 
of the outside temperature when you're on Apple CarPlay. So you see if I go home, it's right down there, 28 degrees, but CarPlay up, that disappears. That's a bit unfortunate. Let's plug in our Android device and see what Android Auto looks like. Another thing I'm curious about is if I will be able to have two data sources hooked in at the same time. There we go. Looks like we've got our USB music playing and our Android Auto. Now, yes, you could do Android Auto wirelessly as well. I just have it wired in for ease of setup. There is your Google Maps. Here's YouTube music. This phone always responds slower, so keep that in mind. Oftentimes, it's not the car system that is slow. It's it's your device. This is a kind of a, a trap phone, if you will, that I just use for this purpose, and it's not always the fastest to respond. But there's your home screen. Let's go down to settings. All right, cool. Let's get this stuff put away and get out on the road. anything special from the sound system. I was like, oh, it's a truck, it's not like a Denali or anything, it's just a seven speaker Bose audio system, it'll be fine. No, not the case. This actually sounds really good. Listen to how tight all the bass hits are on here, along with a very well-balanced mid-range and some pretty good highs, listen. I'm hearing the hi-hat, I'm hearing the bass guitar, I'm hearing the bass drum, I'm hearing all of it, and it comes through with a good amount of power. I'm really impressed by that. Speaking of power, for this next song, we'll turn the bass all the way up 
and see what the subwoofer can do. members only sound system test and we're listening to some bass songs in that and they sounded really good. I'm impressed by that. seven speaker Bose sound system here in the GMC Sierra. This is a great example of how you don't need a whole lot of speakers and a whole lot of fancy adjustments and all that BS just to get good sound quality. This thing's got seven speakers in this cabin. It's a pickup truck and yet this is one of the best sounding sound systems I've heard in months. This, I, I'm really on the fence. It's realistically speaking, it's a B plus. I want to give it an A just for how surprised I am and how impressed I am and the fact that this is a pickup truck, this isn't uh, a luxury vehicle and yet it sounds as good as many and better than a lot of luxury vehicles. It's getting a B but but subjectively speaking for the way this audio, the infotainment system works, the class of vehicle, everything, it's definitely an A. I'd put it right up there with the Ford b and Unleash system that has a whole ton of speakers and all this fancy mumbo jumbo. And yet, this managed to, to sound just as good and be very simple. I've just got to give it a B because it's missing a little bit, little bit of that wow factor from the from the upper ranges, the upper crisps. And you get into an A system and, and it really needs to impress you. It needs to be just that short of S tier. But either way, still very, very good. I'm very impressed with Bose and GM on this one. And I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to see more on the truck, check the links in the description. We've got our members only sound test and the fuel economy test. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on. <laughs>